I'm finna dash on him. You can go out on a date. We can put you on a set. Hey, bosses. Welcome to another vlog. It's me, Kenneth Renee. We got a car tripod. So now the vlog's gonna be elite because now we got a car tripod. So welcome to a vlog. I don't. I usually like tell you guys I know like most vlogs people tell you this is this is what we're gonna do today this 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 and this but like I don't really be knowing what I be doing the whole entire day so it's just like I guess I'll put in the thumbnail but like right now at this very moment we just going all types of ways but what I do plan on doing today is I'm going to get my nails and my toes done and then after that I'm going to go to this neighborhood to look at a house I'm thinking about selling my house in June the neighborhood I'm not gonna say the location or anything just in case I do end up moving there but it's on the outskirts of Atlanta I don't know if I want to get another apartment or if I want to buy another house if I get another apartment it has to be a high-rise luxury nothing more nothing less <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just bougie and my next house has to be a luxury tower house I'm bougie I'm sorry I, I like the finer things in life like I can't help it take my man some shampoo because he's going to get his hair cut today so he wants to wash his hair first and I'm giving him the cheapest shampoo I got y'all because y'all know how men get with self-care stuff so I said I'm gonna give you the cheap cheapest shampoo he's talking about bring him the good stuff so I'm not bringing you my good stuff absolutely not no sir you guys like a life update about everything because y'all know I always address old videos and pics videos so my sports betting video that I made when I tell y'all I have so many men in my comments that look like they old enough to be my daddy in my comments talking about just I don't even know like it's just like I'm like where do y'all y'all not even my target audience like what are y'all doing like oh you're a scam and blah 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 but you don't really know sports blah, blah, blah. like it's just like I don't know it's so annoying so I wanted to kind of touch on that in this video my sports betting group chat I created my sports betting group chat for the girlies that wanted to get into sports betting because I noticed there wasn't an all-girl sports betting group chat and me discovering sports betting was like helps me with everything but I'm kind of getting to a point where I want to move on from that like every time i get on tiktok live or something somebody's always asking me about it and it's like that's not what i want to talk about all day every day i was doing sports betting for fun just to make like you know money to get my nails done my lashes done like little fun money like it's just it was fun to do it's just something fun to make money and then it's like ever since i've started the group chat it's just kind of like it's taking the fun out of it like people when you do something with sports betting it attracts money hungry greedy people like i've had people message me talking about hey do you have a, a good pick a really good pick that you know of for a fact is gonna win because i gotta feed my kids i need this to pay my bills i like you're not supposed to do sports betting to pay your bills you're not supposed to rely on it to pay your bills if you about to get evicted you need to go get a job you don't need to be putting in no picks no parlays you need to go get a job a job to develop what i call gambler's greed where you like you get greedy you get greedy with it so it's just attracting like money hungry people that i'm just like uh like i'm still going to do the group chat so if you're in my sports betting group chat i'm never going to delete it i'm always going to keep helping the girls in the group chat but i'm thinking about stopping accepting new people into my group chat probably like after NBA season is over and NBA season ends on April 14th now it's not a 100% fact yet but it's just like I might because it's like the people that it's attracting is starting to really like just uh and it's nothing wrong with the people who do sports betting and you know that's like they whole life and that's their career you know if that's if you made a career out of sports betting and you're good at it congratulations but that's not my career I'm a real estate agent um, I sell digital products I teach digital marketing I teach real estate marketing I am a content creator I'm funny I'm cute <laughs> hey, more things besides for sports betting like I never thought it was gonna blow up the way that it did and I'm grateful that it did because that video on TikTok, everything it opened so many doors for me and I'm very blessed about it but it's like I'm kind of ready to close that chapter and move on to something else look on a sports bet of course because I genuinely like sports betting it's fun 
it's you know I like the competition of it I like the the it's like challenging I really like problem solving and challenging I was a in college I was a criminal justice major and I had a minor in psychology so like I love problem solving and critical thinking that's why I overthink so much <laughs> and that's kind of like what sports betting really is it's kind of like it's kind of like solving critical thinking um you know things like that like probability trying to solve things and like what's the problem like it's kind of it's like that if you're into like problem solving and stuff you would actually really like sports betting but it's just like it's really it attracts money hungry people like, unless you are like could look into the future on some that's so raven type like you're not gonna know if it hits even the top of 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 the sports betters ain't gonna know if it's gonna pick on hit every single pick is not gonna hit you're not gonna win every time it's gambling i think people forget that so it's just like that's kind of like where i'm at with that because i get so many questions on that that is where i'm kind of at with that now it's not a 100 percent fact but it's just something that i'm thinking about that's been on my mind for a minute so if you want to join my sports betting group chat right now at this very moment i don't know what today's date is um i'm filming this video march 16th if you're watching this video i'm still accepting people after april 14th i may not be accepting new people in there if you're already in my group chat it's not like i'm gonna delete the group chat i'm still gonna help the girls in the group chat baseball season is actually about to start march 28th and i'm super excited about that i'm honestly tired and then on top of that i'm kind of tired of betting on the nba they getting on my nerves <laughs> low key i'm ready for baseball so um, so that is uh, pretty much the update on that because i know a lot of people ask me about that that is the update on that and yeah okay y'all so i just got finished getting my nails done these are my nails i really am just a simple girl these days like i don't be wanting nothing too crazy just a little simple so and let me tell you what just happened in the nail salon so they were on my ticket up and it was $70. So I'm like, nails and toes, 70? Oh, okay, bet. Cause it's my first time getting my toes done here. So I was like, nails and toes, 70? Oh, bet. And then she wrote the ticket. She was like, oh, this is just for the, this is just for the nails. So it was 70 for my nails and 50 for my toes. And I was just about to walk out the door cause they forgot to charge me for my pedicure. So I thought it was just 70. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm finna dash on them. They was like, no, ma'am. This was just for the pedicure, the nails, too. The toe. This was just. She's like, this is just for the nails. But we gotta get the toes, too. I'm like, oh. Almost got away with it. But yeah. So next, we're gonna go to our next destination. And I will see you guys in a second. Okay, good morning, y'all. It is Sunday. I am the worst vlogger ever. I think I have okay it's sunday i forgot to vlog after i left the nail salon um i started doing stuff and i forgot to pick up my camera and then i realized like when i got home i was like oh i forgot to pick up my camera but i'm not gonna do that today i'm gonna keep my camera in my hand so i can remember so um i didn't actually go and tour the houses yesterday because um i just started doing stuff but i did pass by the neighborhood the neighborhood is it's nice so today i'm gonna see if i can go tour some of the houses and I did talk to my financial advisor and my mom about it. So that's my financial advisor, by the way. So yeah, but right now um, I am, my dog is out here. Um, I think he needed to come outside. I think he just wanted to eat grass. Look at this. I'm thinking he had to use the bathroom. He just wanted to come get his lifetime supply of grass. Like, Hey, is it good? It's good, bruh. Let me tell you, he is fucking it up. Okay, y'all. So we in house number one. I like these countertops. Okay, kitchen. I like how many windows, because you know I'm a content creator, so you know the windows, the windows matter. Okay, so we're back in the house, and this is the downstairs bathroom. I like this. 
I don't know if this comes with the house or not. Oh, oh, let me not break it. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go upstairs. I love this small period. I could put my old couch in here. This my couch that I have right now is small and then I don't know if I'll put a TV up here though. It's too many TVs, but <laughs> like the loft area. This is like an office area or another bedroom. I like the counters. Hopefully they put another mirror right here. I saw in the pictures online that there's two mirrors, so they might be doing this because of the what you call it? Town, the model home. This is the other bedroom. Her. Love the loft. <laughs> oh my god, this is an actual washer and dryer room. I don't want a washer and dryer room. Instead of just the washer and dryers on the wall, like an actual walk in room. And what's in here? It's a pantry. And this is the master. It's actually bigger in person than I thought. And how it looks online. And the windows. Oh my god, so much light. <laughs> Y'all new content creators need the light. And then this is the bathroom. I actually like how small the bathroom is. It's straight to the point. The bathroom. Straight to the point. But I do. I'm gonna turn this off. See how this has two mirrors? So of course the other one has to have two mirrors. But I do like this this room. And the closet. Oh, she's big. You can fit a whole bed in here. She's big. So yeah, this is house number one. I'm going to go see the next model. Oh, there's two pantries or two towel closets. It must not be one in the bathroom. That makes sense. Okay, I could do that. But yeah, I'm going to go to the next unit. I'll see y'all there. Okay, so this is the second one. This is the three. Sorry, I'm not ready. Anyway, this is the second house. This is a three story townhome. And y'all, this is. If y'all know me, y'all know I love marble and quartz countertops. This is. that This is sold me right here. But this kitchen is nice and huge. And this is the living area. The pantry. And this is the bathroom and oh a coat closet. I didn't even know how to still have a coat closet. Okay. So we're gonna start with the first level. like the bottom level this is like a I don't know what you call this a space this is the this is a big bedroom under here but look at the windows I just keep looking at the lighting <laughs> and a closet okay and then this is the bathroom, and I believe this might be the garage. Yeah. So. Let's go back upstairs. So 
So is this considered the master? No, it's not. <laughs> or is it? I don't even know. This is the bathroom. Sold. Look at the floors. <laughs> this bathroom is huge. Ooh, look at the shower. Oh, hold on, bro. You go <laughs> But the shower. Um, now this one I have a washer and dryer room. But I <laughs> this is I guess it'd be like the office area. I make my office area. And another room. These rooms are small. I have a king size bed in my in my guest room. I don't think it'll fit in here. I'm just being honest. And it's the bathroom. This one is nice, but the rooms are really small. Oh, this has two closets. That's one closet. Let me go look at the other closet again. Both of these closets are small. I do like how it has this thing for like shoes and stuff. If we just put this bathroom in the last unit, perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah. I do like the lighting. Um, I like the master bathroom. I just don't like how small these bedrooms, the third house in this neighborhood, but this isn't a townhome. This is a uh, single family. So the bathroom in here. And then washer and dryer downstairs. kitchen again like these countertops the pantry I like how much lighting it is in here and I believe this is the master the master is on the first floor it's a medium size Big. Bathroom. This is a nice bathroom. I like the shower. Oh, this closet is huge. This closet is big. Again, you could fit a bed up in here. It's a little different that the master's on the first floor. That's cool. And then let's look at the backyard. Oop. This will be the backyard. This loft part is fire. This is so lit. Now I might just put a TV right there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So this is one room. This is another room.
and a bathroom. And another room. So this is a four bedroom. I just really like this loft area. I like how they have this set up. So yeah, this one's really nice. The rooms are a little bit bigger than this one. That's all the moms see it. <laughs> I'll check you with y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, I'm back in the car. I look crazy because it is hot. And these braids a little dusty anyway um so y'all see me tour three of the houses uh the first one uh was the main one that i wanted to come see i really really like that one um i like that one the most um it's the cheaper one out of the three that we just saw it's a two-story townhouse that one is perfect um the second one y'all kind of see that i said i like that one um i like the three-story townhouse it gives the luxury feel for sure but the rooms are just kind of small my second bedroom i have two king size beds and that one of those both of those rooms just did not look like they was gonna fit like the main the main room looked like it'll fit it but like the two rooms they look like they was not gonna fit the king size bed um i could have put the bed downstairs i could put the bed downstairs i didn't think about that i could okay now something <laughs> that one is nice that one's nice she's all right we can i still like the first one better though but that one we, she's cool but it has a lot of steps but maybe my fat ass needs steps anyway and then the third one is um a single family so a single family is a house that's not a townhouse just a regular house i really liked that one the only thing is is that the master's downstairs the kitchen's downstairs the laundry room's downstairs i literally will never have no reason to go up the steps like none um that might be a good thing though because i was looking at like ranch style houses which is like a one level house um so that might be a good thing i don't know but i kind of i like that one too obviously that's the more expensive one out of the out of the three um so yeah now the whole point of me like moving for real is because number one the crime in my neighborhood has risen and the hoa is not doing anything about it number two we are not allowed to have fences and i need a place for my dog now here they're saying the townhomes can't have fences but this is a gated community so i would feel safe kind of like tying my dog up and leaving him outside because this is more of a gated community and the neighborhood is bigger so i will feel a little bit more safer here um so i really like that i like the fact that this neighborhood is gated it's in a very very well there's no safe area for real for real but it's in a safer area than what i live in now this is a very how can i put this um uh, uh, area with more money <laughs> let's put it that way area with more money because right now i live in the the i live in between the country and the hood so um so yeah so that's kind of like another reason too and um yeah like i'm just ready to kind of upgrade just a little bit um so that's the reason why i'm looking for um another house um so if my two years for my house will be up in june i don't have to sell after two years but like I would have accumulated the most amount of equity in my house in two years so that's why I'm looking now um but I don't really know yet what I'm gonna do I'm still gonna keep looking but I really really like this neighborhood um they're talking about oh the houses are gonna sell really quick we have a quick y'all I'm a realtor I know I know all the little tricks that these people at this at these new townhome communities do to try to get you to buy faster like I, I know the tricks like when he was telling me I'm like sir little do you know I'm a realtor and I already know the game I already know the game plan. <laughs> but nah um so yeah we gonna probably keep looking um so yeah because I'm like I don't know if I want an apartment or if I want a, another house I'm leaning towards another house because I have a dog but I don't know yet so we gonna see but I really did like these comment down below and let me know what you guys' favorite model was did y'all like the first one the second one or the third one let me know because I like this neighborhood a lot I really do I might I might be here who knows but comment down below let me know what y'all favorite is mama Todd i'm finna go home and um get my life together but let me know what you guys think make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video